Hey everybody, it's Darren Moore again for CAD Microsystems and Bluebeam Review. Hey, you know, the word got out that I know a little bit about signing documents, digital signatures and so forth in Bluebeam Review. So an engineer reached out to me and said, hey, what if I have a lot of documents to sign, like a dozen or even more? What can I do? Do I have to sign them all individually? And the answer is no, you just need to Bluebeam it. And here's how you would do that. I'm going to open up the batch tab, look for sign and seal, left click sign and seal. And then in the batch sign and seal dialog box, I'm gonna add some files. Click add, locate some files. I could have added my open files, but I don't need to do that. I'll select this top file, shift select the bottom file. And then my earlier file, that purchase order is right there. I'll shift select or control select that to remove it from the selected set. I'll click open. So I can get a verification of the files that I've loaded. They're all single page PDFs, all 14 or 15 of them. Then I'll click next, left click next. All right, so it shows you alphanumerically the top file in the group. I want to place in this palette on the left hand side of my interface, a digital signature. I'll use the digital signature. Maybe you saw me create earlier. Uh, it's called Darren Moore. Uh, that's a digital ID. The digital signature is actually called uh, D Moore's signature. I believe I need to sign in, right? I think I mentioned my password, very cryptic, lowercase P-A-S-S-W-O-R-D. I'm going to log in. That should activate a number of things. I could say, okay, well, what are their permitted changes? It can't really make a change there, but I'll, I could say the reason I have, uh, I'll say I've reviewed this document. Uh, location there's my actual signature now I could place a date if I needed to if uh, if I didn't have a stamp that had a date built in but I do have a stamp that has a date built in so I'll sort of skip the date for now and I'll go to seal put a check mark next to seal and I'll change the seal to a custom stamp I made earlier called reviewed by Darren Moore now what you may have seen in the upper left corner of the interface is my signature and my, my stamp have both uh, shown up and that's where they would be unless I move them now I'm gonna go ahead and click and drag my signature not like that Darren uh, just so I can get it there we go I moved it I'll put it down in the stamp area where it might be a little bit too large we'll see and then I'll actually drag the stamp down my stamp is too large for that area so I'll just sort of drag it oops and I've got to be very careful it's so easy to move markups in Bluebeam review I'll just zoom in there's a custom stamp that I added or created some time ago uh, there's my signature I'll zoom out and I'm sort of good to go. I, I don't, I'm not going to make any more changes. So then down on the bottom part of the interface, you'll see OK. I'll left click OK. And it says that you're about to save changes to multiple files. Do so you wish to continue? Yeah, I do. I want to. And you could actually put a check mark. Don't show me this again. But I'll hit OK. And so there were 15 documents that are now being signed and sealed. And you don't see them right now, right? Because the, the active document I had was from an earlier exercise where I signed the purchase order. But if I went to File, Open, and these are the files that I stamped, and you can sort of see in the preview, also I'll sort of open all of these. You probably don't need to see all of them. Quite a few files, I'll sort of zoom in. So there is my batch sign, there's my signature, and my, my batch seal, my stamp. So that's all I had to do. I had to just Bluebeam it by opening up the batch tab, going to batch sign and seal, Right there, sign and seal, and choose the documents I wanted to sign, choose the signature I wanted to use, had to sign in, and then just choose the stamp for stamping. So there it is. I'm Darren Moore for CAD Microsystems and Bluebeam Review. Thanks for watching.